Yo, oh, what is gaming? Cause I am dying. We are here with the humiliation mod, humiliated Maggie, first treasure room. Uh, I feel like the cool thing to take here is bloody Gus. This is the last humiliated character. I did not get to try them, so now we finally will. They start with Fractured Heart as a pocket active that refills all their HP, but constantly, you can see that our stats just negate all the way down to one heart, just with hearts existing. So this character is actually very challenging because it's very hard to have more than one HP with him. You know, you walk in a room and you'll have more than one HP for maybe a good five seconds. Luckily, the Fractured Heart does recharge while doing the room, but it's kind of a slow rate, so you can't really bank on it, you know? It's also the reason I decided to take Bloody Gust there because we will be taking major amounts of damage. As you can see, on hit, Humiliated Maggie does a large AoE and just kind of destroys everything in their path. Nice. So I don't think we're going to be getting much deals, but in terms of damage, we should be okay. Okay, I am curious as to how much the AoE effect does damage for bosses oh my god <laughs> okay i was expecting maybe like a third of the hp from pride but all of the above yeah okay i'll take it how do soul hearts work this is assuming i get a good drop here pretty please does it just get removed no it stays would you look at that okay so that means soul hearts are more perma and if i want to not like immediately die i'm gonna have to find more of those all right i wanted to play a little bit of a harder more aggressive character today and this seems like the perfect opportunity so we will be locking this in placebo nah i'm all right i'm gonna just go fight the boss so if i pump my blood with the fractured heart it's only the red hearts that get removed i see and while my red hearts get removed you can see i leave behind creep and that would be the perfect opportunity for me to go in crazy and deal major like one shot damage the reason i don't want to do that is because now i've lost the soul heart so as you can see it's kind of all about resource management at the end of the day i'd like to go down poor because i'm feeling good about my damage we're not going to get deals most obviously but my stats are going to be so good because of bloody gust interesting that i think they have free curse rooms if i do this wouldn't it just respawn when i'm in here so it's just free i didn't really think about that my brain is not hardwired to register taking red heart damage in and out of a curse room being free it like doesn't make sense to me but it's working so i'm just gonna keep doing it in fact wait a second <laughs> this is infinite stats hold on i can just do this get my stats back and then take oh, no! what i learned in boating school is there are no inbound frames between those two different instances of damage do not make that mistake <laughs> so this does remove deal chance i'm sure right what no Wait, I am gonna get deals. This character's crazy. The fake HP that you get from Fractured Heart is like not Red Heart deal damage. Okay, that's insane. I truly thought this was like a character that plays giga aggressive with the contact damage, uh, but no deals to suffice. But I'm actually a stat lord. Plus, oh, plus the perfect item to boot. Okay, we have got ourselves a run, guys. Very juicy one at that. I'm gonna go in here. Could be nice. It sure was not though. I'm really, really tempted to just run through these enemies because I know that I'm just gonna destroy them immediately if I do contact damage. But that would be such a waste of the soul heart. Is there ways to get more than, like, one container of hearts? Like, if I get an HP up, is my new maximum 2 HP or am I perma 1 HP? I think that's very important to know. Okay, here's how I'm gonna max out my damage, I think. We're gonna run into this boss with the soul heart, then press Q, then run into them again. This should maybe skip a phase and I'm gonna be good. Not as much damage as I was thinking, but way more towards the tail end there. Again, gotta be careful. The invuln frames seem to be less. Don't want to go randomly dying. I'm just going to tank it and then handle it all. Nice. There is the deal. I'm going to take the HP. I'm a little scared to take anything like that. Yeah, HP sucks, actually. <laughs> I mean, HP does some stuff. It gives me more opportunities to deal the AoE damage. Uh, but in terms of actual survivability, that's just non-existent. This character really does play at, like a, a tainted loss level of HP. I mean, imagine us going to the womb. If I didn't have the wafer, any random straight hit without me pressing Q, that's done though. You're over. A scary character to be sure. I don't have enough keys for the dice room, so I'm just going down. Down, poor two, feeling good. Also feels very weird knowing that I don't got my stats anymore. I'm gonna need that back. Look at that. So you can see, I actually got two instances of the AoE damage there within the same instance of Fractured Heart, you know? So more HP can definitely do stuff for you. It's just not exactly readily apparent. And you know, that's okay. Okay, hello. Ah. Uh... 
Well, I'll take this. This is great. I don't know how eternal hearts are gonna work. I imagine they get deleted. I don't see why they wouldn't. Oh my god. Well, it's gonna get deleted anyway, no? Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to see it now. We're starting to get like three, maybe even four big blasts per Q, and now the damage is really racking in, especially with the soul of Magdalene. This is really good for this character, I think. Let's just uh, not use it though, because I got Dagos. Never mind. Bozo! Is this the smart play, guys? Bozo, I mean, not for the damage, of course. Look at that thing, a pathetic amount. <laughs> but the random passive chance to maybe get Rainbow Pooperton's on the screen, recharge my HP. I think this could be better. I mean, more exciting, whoopsies, that almost just died, uh, than a monster manual, I would say. Still working with a good amount of cash, and in here, I will finally spend it by blowing up your cash register and then buying the item. Are you satisfied with this transaction? Secret room for free up here. Samson Shane's might as well leave this alone you know we might get a roll it's looking like oh oh yes dude it's looking like i might not but with that lazy worm showing up who knows random d6 in like this place i don't know <laughs> it's, not, it's not happening fellas <laughs> we already got the deal didn't we should i try and get hit by rainmaker then at least like a small pellet so i take deal damage here boom and then i'll heal myself and then kill him that way we have a higher chance of a deal next floor oh. boom gaga brain uh, excuse me <laughs> I, 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 dude, I can't, I swear to god, deals have been trolling me recently, and I don't really mind because they've been trolling me in a good way. The way that means that I get the deals no matter what, but like, come on. <laughs> All right, we're rewarded with two bombs. A bit of a scary fight here with Rainmaker. Just because I'm not dealing too much damage, it's just a high tier rate. I'm gonna use a couple bombs, I think. Just to speed along the fight, because I do really think this is the scariest this character will play as. And once we're out, the sooner we're out, the better. Thanks for the tears up. Very, very small note that really doesn't matter, but kind of bothers me that Fractured Heart is like capitalized like every single other Binding of Isaac item. But when I hold tab and it says pump blood, it's a uh, lowercase, not a fan. <laughs> I don't know why that bothers me so much, but it does. I'll take the Samson Chase because it is free. I'll take the Broken Stopwatch because it is fun. And then I'm not going to mines because it's never worth it. Goddamn hate mines. But I don't hate the caves. Hello. Curse of Darkness is here and it's time to build up our bloody gust again. Except this time we can see Swallow Penny is going crazy. And we are about to have a very, very fun time with the amount of cash that we are going to receive. I blew up that guy and that was an accident. It was a complete murder scene and everyone is pointing their fingers at me, but I swear to god it wasn't me. Oh, nice slowdown. Slowdown's super good. Look at this. It just take purposeful damage no matter what. I almost feel like the key's more worth it here. Because who's gonna die when you can just press Q and kill everything? This one's funny. This is actually a stalemate. Nothing happens here. Because my Fractured Heart is always some form of charge, he's always gonna be aggro on me. He literally died to Samson's chains. That's impressive. Oh my god, look how powerful this character can be. I'm getting so much money as well. One press of a Q and it was completely over. I'm gonna train these guys like zombies and just blow them up. <laughs> Ray gun style, hello? Cool, I'll take the bomb over the key and then use a key to go in here. I'm filled with glee, guys. That's really big. Magic mushroom? No, but I know you guys wanted me to check secretly without you saying anything. Don't worry, I got you. <laughs> All right, we got tons of cash this time. Battery. Don't know if this works, but I'd love to test it. Ah, it does. That's great. Hit a restock real quick. Buddy in a box is nice. Car battery. I don't know how this works. I mean, it wouldn't heal me twice, so it really wouldn't work. So what about this? Hi, friend. We can check if bone hearts get deleted. That's really important info. And another reverse card. Okay, I'll just take this. And it's another... <laughs> it's another one. Okay, cool. We'll get our answer really quickly. There's the bone hearts. They aren't getting deleted. But that's not really my question. My question is more along the lines of if I put hearts in them, will they get deleted? Let's use a soul heart to cleanse darkness and protect the bone hearts. Red heart. Oh yeah, that would that makes sense. <laughs> I don't know why my brain thought that the hearts would start filling up from the bone hearts and then moving to the right. We also got a really, really weird room here. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that alone. Oh my goodness. There, uh, we can just do this to check and uh, it definitely does. A little bit fantastic maybe, deep pockets. Actually, I'm good, I don't need it. I, actually, I guess I missed the reroll, my bad. <laughs> Sorry for the disrespect, my bad, I'll take you. One more, Hierophant, I can't make this up. I actually don't wanna use it, it's it's useless. We just went over this. <laughs> I did miss this pill on the way. Luck up, like it, and love it. Let's go defeat this boss, it's just shrub. I'm gonna press Q and run into you, and I'm gonna do it again, and now we are broken. You guys can see the utter power of having Fractured Heart available more than 
you usually have it. Being able to press Q twice in a room with this much amount of HP is going to make such a massive difference. Also, Bloody Gust is just permanently always up. There's no denying that. I mean, I have to do like two rooms and it's up. I also land Book of the Dead and Belial. I'm going to take Belial here. Usually I would go for the more defensive play with Book of the Dead, but I think Belial's better here. Because the thing I need the most is damage. Orbitals that Book of the Dead will spawn will just insta-die. And Belial also gives deal chance, so that's the real difference maker, I would say. What is this ghost nickel? What, excuse me? I don't really know what's happening anymore, guys. I'm actually being haunted. Is this a real nickel? That was a real luck up. Come here. Nope, I don't get to have it. <laughs> walk out, walk back in. Okay, what? <laughs> Listen, I'm not like the Isaac Guru troubleshooter, but I'll be honest, I did feel like a computer whiz just then. All I gotta do is check this to see if there's a special room, which obviously there was, because I didn't hit my treasure room just yet. I will take these bombs to my advantage, hit the treasure room, and get the baby who completes conjoined. That's beautiful. Really, really essential. The DPS up I need, because the amount of damage that this character does on blast is so large, but when I have an encounter, you know, with non-contact damage, or maybe I need range, I really need to buff that. This, though, this is just like, I'm gonna press Q, and then I'm gonna get Bozo, and then I'm gonna press Q again. <laughs> Which is the coolest way to play. Okay, spun is nice. At least it's a range up. And here we get Ernest Souls, which is good. Like, if we're being real, that's really good. It's not Belial, though, dude. Extra deal chance is just... What? Extra deal chance is just nice to think about. I really didn't want to fight you. I'm not going to press Q here, because that's going to make me want to just run into the guy. I'll lose my eternal heart. I want to take that to the next floor. No skill issues. No skill issues. I guess I'll take it. Still useful, not useless. Let's go. Nice, dude. What a shred fest treasure. Oh! Wow. Okay. This was incredible. Everything is working out currently. I hope it continues. Boom. DJs. Oh, yeah. This is actually really big. Our, you know, red hearts will still get removed. But we'll have more of a focus on our soul hearts for a little bit of time. Go in here. Trying to spend money and getting the exact item I want for this scenario. Even if it's mega expensive, we can use Mr. Me to steal it. Uh, I'm probably just gonna buy it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just buy it. It's better this way. And maybe this is the reason that I was handed all those nice soul hearts. We can use them to our advantage. And, uh, let's just play the tier game just real quick. You know, I, I, I'm not expecting this to be the most massive amount of damage from a humiliated Maggie, but playing a little bit slower and making sure we lock in the balls. Sorry, the balls just overcame me, you know, it's just hard to control sometimes. Being able to save this eternal heart for the next floor is gonna be pretty good for us. And it shouldn't be too bad, we do have a lot of stats and the mutant spider does help out, look at this. It's basically your average Binding of Isaac run when you don't have a uh, humiliated Maggie going nasty with it. Alright, here we go, and I was just kidding, I can't help it, I want to immediately kill her. All right, all right, all right, now chill out, chill out, chill out. <laughs> a bit much, but it doesn't matter as long as I don't lose the Eternal Heart specifically, right? Yeah, we're okay, no big deal. Polaroid wouldn't be good, but negative would be kind of fun. Eh, it's damage, whatever. At this point, I take the negative more than the Polaroid just because it, it's itself a damage up and it feels better. <laughs> what did the negative used to do? Guys, holy moly. I just got whiplash. Nostalgia freak moment. Didn't, like, negative not do anything? <laughs> Wasn't it, like, notoriously bad because it was just the Polaroid, but... 10 times worse. I don't think I ever remember doing the, the effect where it, it does the Necronomicon. Or no, you know what? Sorry. It did used to do that and they added the damage up later because it just wasn't nearly as useful. I remember. Well, that was a weird feeling. I think it's at a point right now where I can just kind of walk in every single room and by the time I'm done with the room, I still have red hearts left over. So one use of my pump blood fractured heart can actually cover multiple rooms at this point. Like look at this. I just chunked all of my health into that boss, but I'm chilling. You know, we go next. Boom 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 so got red hearts left over if there were enemies here they'd be boned especially there there they are <laughs> oh yeah i definitely think we're in some form of unkillable state currently this is a strong showing from humiliated maggie another angel another hp up it's all coming together with purity to boot one of the worst things we could have found <laughs> Talk about no screen time. I'm gonna walk inside of a room and you're never gonna see purity proc ever again. Bit of a guess, a toss up here, 50-50 between left and right. I'm gonna say left is the boss. I could be wrong, but I have a feeling I'm actually pretty correct here. Let's see how it pans out. Wow, look at what this character has become. A slaughter fest of mega proportions. Nothing can live anymore. And I am just walking into enemies, making them explode. And I have way too much HP to know even what I want to do with it. Hello, this was the boss. Yeah, let's just do it, dude. Run into the eyes real quick. 
Press Q, do it again. Take care of the ones on top, and just run your face into them. Oh my god! I forgot it lives doesn't take contact damage. That was correct, right? Yeah, I can't do contact damage to it lives. That's why orbital strats were good in Flash Isaac. No? That's the reason you used to do that? Or am I mixing the two up? Oh, but we got a hush fight as well. I want to do this. No, no, no. Sorry. I think orbitals have always been good against it lives. Using the bombs is what you used to do against Flash it lives. I remember now. Ton of chests. Hello. Any statistics? No. It's all right. We got another black market to look forward to. Very excited for that. Treasure room on the left is... Uh, Explosive Tifa is not bad. <laughs> It really isn't. I mean, piercing isn't going to do much. Nah, it's, it's more consistent. I mean, don't get me wrong. I was highly tempted there. Take the Explosivo, just lock it in. But I think the knowledge of knowing that piercing won't come back to bite me in the ass is a little bit more comforting. Hello, Kyobebe. How are you doing, sir? Run into your own death. And cute baby joins the team. What about the right treasure room? Hello? Oh, yes. Now I kind of feel like I wanted to take piercing. Wait, I did. Oh, yeah, dude. Whoa, massive play, actually. 4.5 volt. Would this not be also incredible? Maybe it'll ruin everything. I'm not going to know unless I try. Anything in here? Queen of Hearts. I guess I could use that on the hush fight itself. Let's joker it up and get Lazarus. Going to make it so I feel more confident in our play. Maybe we won't die fully. And down here. Here we get just a damage up which hey we now effectively have a plus one damage up if you were to play a regular character noise <laughs> Would Nightlight be clutch here? With a close range character? I feel like that would be bad. I don't want the bullets to be slowed down when they spawn in while I'm point blank. That Yeah, that doesn't sound like the correct play. I'm gonna take this instead, and I think we just fight Hush. It's the unkillable, undisputable god tank setup that actually gains HP. Never mind. Before I get down to like 1 HP, if I don't burn my contact damage, I actually can't die. Look, by the time I'm down, I can just refresh it. <laughs> I get low HP, oh my god, too hard, so- Well, nope, I'm back up. Even if a hailstorm of tears like this, I have no fear, because it doesn't matter. I'll just tank the damage. I am the undisputable tank build right now. This is incredible. And then look at that. When I decide to go on the offensive as well, Bozo just decides to clutch it out for me and just proc tons of times for no reason. <laughs> I've never seen so many rainbow poops in a single room before. And that is it. Look how much money we have. Look at what we have accomplished. Wow, this character is nasty. That's everything. 241 coins. Let's go down. I cannot believe this character does not lose deal chance on like taking damage. Like, what? <laughs> just get to run around, beat people's face in, just rock their shits. <laughs> I'd like to thank the Academy. Actually, hold on. I'd like to thank the Battery for its contributions to the Matman Foundation and everything that it embodies, aka playing the best video game ever and being able to press Q and uh, kind of running my face into everything and winning the video game. This is awesome. <laughs> Highly aggressive playstyle. I just walk in and just demolish everything. Never ending as long as you're good with your resource management. I love it. One, two, three, and four. Here's that like one time you'll ever see damage purity. It's gone. Goodbye. Random bozo proc Satan down two to nothing. Can I beat him a third time? Let's check. Boom. You're done for. Goodbye. Insane amounts of damage. And we just actually have infinite coinage. I bet you I could get to 999 if I picked up all those coins on the map. I was very confused for a second because I'm like, what is this Dark Room Nightcore remix that I've never heard before? <laughs> Red Chest, the mark. Do I care about damage? Not really, but I got too much HP. Boom, boom, sack, alter, succubus. That is interesting. Would I give up my conjoin for the world? Probably not, but I'm going to do it because it's more fun. Hello? Oh, no. Wait, Athame, never mind. Mega worth. Holy. Maw of the Void as well. A close range item. I think this might be the play. Let's just test it out. We're going to have less HP so i don't think we're gonna be infinite anymore but in terms of actual damage we probably have way more we still have the battery as well so it's not like we don't have a lot of hp we just need to save our double charge for every single individual room instead just to be extra safe use one when we walk in and then we get low we have one left over chest in here book of secrets locking in the bookworm love to see it seems like a pretty linear dark room might as well just go ahead and try and uh, full clear everything because there's no reason not to another chest monstro hello not who i expected to see today but you are not unwelcome i do be enjoying this item and it works really well with close range combat 
I think Bozo just clutched it out there. I might have died. That was really close. <laughs> Hi, Bumbo. Do not doubt on the Bozo play, guys. Bozo actually gets a bad rap. I'm gonna say it. That is my sleeper pick. I have never really mentioned this before, but of all the sleeper Binding of Isaac picks that I would say, hey, people need to look at this item and realize that it's actually good, I would advocate for Bozo. Genuinely. This thing does a lot. Another chest, another item. Yo, listen. Eh, it's okay. It's just kind of nice to have at that point. Uh, God forbid we get a fast room like that leech room just then against like the lamb because it might be over. <laughs> you see how much damage the mysterious liquid is doing? Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my god. It's the, it's perfect. That is what I look for every single time I play the Binding of Isaac. I'm not even exaggerating. Anytime I play Isaac, that is what I want to see. I want to see mysterious liquid giga damage where the boss is just stuck in the liquid. There's nothing you can do and you just just see it tick down like crazy. It's like the best thing ever. That as well. Athame's up there. <laughs> Botfly, hey, Beelzebub, and we will not be dying anytime soon. Powerful as hell item. Hey, can I get a, a question ask on this? Slightly curious. We got undefined here. I'll use it at the end. Maybe error room or something. Another chest here. Knockout drops. Okay. What does ASL mean? I, I actually don't uh, like understand. Because I see it sometimes and I assume the person is trying to say like as life. Like this is crazy ASL. This is crazy as life. It doesn't make sense. I don't get it. Maybe someone out there can help me. I'm just a little curious. Lucky foot is nice though. Just kind of clocking in every single item possible. We also have 10 luck? I didn't really notice this until just now, but maybe that's the reason Athame is going so hard right now. Yeah, I actually I, I figured it out, guys. Mega brain activity right now, I know. It's actually insane how much of a brain you need to have to figure this out, but Athame is really good with luck and I have good luck. I'm starting to see a correlation. <laughs> Let's go in here. I'm going to press Q and just walk into you. You have lasted a little bit longer than I'm used to, but I also just have good tears now, so I'm not too afraid. One more heal into boom, you're dead. And that's it. Goodbye, lamb. Any delirium today? No. I'm going to press spacebar twice. Super secret. Boom, boom. A bunch of pills. I'll just take the ones that I don't know for fun. Okay, I'll also take the luck up because it feels nice to get. Experimental and a gulp. One more and we get the regular secret room. We'll talk about full clear, dude. That's about it. Humiliated Maggie turned out to be insanely satisfying and mega powerful. And I'm glad I closed out with them. Super fun character. GG's.